Hey, how's it going? Ellis here. Today we're going to be talking about the ins and outs of creating and writing a reinspection. We're going to be talking about the best situations for using the reinspection tool versus when you would like to use the uh, copy of the original report. Let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to start off by talking about when the reinspection tool wouldn't be the most useful thing to use instead of copying the original report. Let's say, for example, you're working on a reinspection and you come across something that you couldn't inspect the first time around, like the utilities were off or basement access was locked, etc. You're not actually able to add any additional sections or comments to a reinspection report. It'll only allow you to work on the defects you originally selected when making that reinspection. This would be a good time to, instead of doing a reinspection, would be to grab the copy of the original report and add those additional things on there. You could then make a reinspection with those new defects you found if you'd like. Copying the original report is also a great idea if you're reinspecting a home for a new client that wasn't the original client. That way you have a good foundation to work on that report and make any changes since the last time you inspected it. In this instance, using the reinspection tool wouldn't be helpful as it's only used for tracking resolved or unresolved issues and not anything new to do with the inspection that was already there before. Let's get started on what the actual reinspection tool does though. All right, so starting off, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go into our settings and turn on that tool to create reinspections. So if we go over to settings and we scroll down to our report options, there's report tools. We're gonna go ahead and open that and you're gonna see one in there that says enable reinspections. I already have mine enabled with the green check mark. You're gonna wanna make sure that you have that checked as well so that you're able to use this tool. Once you have that turned on, we're gonna go ahead and go over to our services and fees so that we can create a new service for our reinspection. So whenever you're scheduling your reinspection, you actually have a price set for that service. So we're gonna click on add new service and we're gonna name this new service reinspection. We're gonna create the base price to be maybe $150, and maybe it takes an hour and a half to do that reinspection. Um, after that, you're, it's asking for templates and agreements. We don't necessarily need to choose a template to pull off of when it comes to reinspections because when you're using the reinspection tool, it's building that report off of your previous inspections template. And so there's no need to choose one in here. As for agreements, you have the option to choose your agreements that you've already had set up, maybe like your standard agreement. Um, but maybe you would like to have an agreement set up specifically for reinspections. That way, whenever your client is signing that new agreement, it's tailored specifically to that service. Um, you also have the option to not choose an agreement uh, to be associated with this service. And when you schedule that reinspection, it's going to ask you if you would like to use the agreement that your customer has already signed, and it'll import that agreement over into your reinspection. So it's whatever works best for your business. Um, I am not going to put an agreement in my reinspection service. I'm just going to go ahead and pull over that agreement that my client has already signed in the past. So uh, at once we have done that, we're going to go ahead and close the reinspection and we're going to actually go and find uh, the inspection that we would like to reinspect. All right, I have hopped over to the inspection that I would like to do a reinspection for, and I'm in the inspection details page. So if we go to the report that we would like to reinspect off of, we're going to go ahead and click view to view that report. And once that's loaded, in the upper right hand corner, you'll see the report tools drop down. If we click into that, there's an option to schedule a reinspection. We're going to go ahead and click that, and it's going to bring up a new window for us to select the defects that we would like to reinspect uh, on this reinspection. So, in the upper left hand corner of these defects, you can go ahead and click that you would like to do that by making them green. But if every single defect that is on that inspection uh, you would like to reinspect, you also have the option to select visible defects right here. And you'll see uh, that I have five selected right now, but when I click that, it check marks all 12 of the defects. And uh, that will be showing up in our reinspection once we hit save report for the inspection. 
Once we hit that, it's gonna bring us to our scheduling page where we can set up the day that we would like to go and do this reinspection. Um, now, earlier when we talked about how you can import your agreements from the previous inspection into this new reinspection, uh, this would be the checkbox that you would want to click so that those agreements are pulled over. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click that because I didn't set up an agreement in my reinspection service. As we scroll down, you'll see that it has the inspector selected, the date and time, you can choose what day you would like to do this reinspection, and it pulls all the other information from that last report, uh, like the address, the clients, the agents, uh, whatever it may be. And we're gonna go ahead and select the service as a reinspection -inspe service like we set up earlier. And you'll see it brought in the base price of what we put in as $150 and the duration of an hour and a half, just like we set up. As we scroll down, we'll see all the information is still set up uh, correctly, pulled from the previous inspection. And we're gonna go ahead and click Save Inspection on this. And it should bring us to our new inspection details page where the report for the reinspection is. Let's talk about maybe you don't want to schedule a whole new inspection for that reinspection. Maybe you've already set the date or you've already set up an inspection for your client. Or maybe you just want to have your reinspection report be on the same exact page as your original report so your client only has one place they need to go to to see everything that you've done for them. Um, let's hop back over to our original inspection address that we were doing that reinspection form for. And on the original report on the right hand side, we have three dots. If we click on that, there's an option to create a reinspection report. Let's click on that and it's going to bring up a pop up for us to choose the address we would like to put this reinspection on. Um, this would be if you created or scheduled your inspection already, you want to put that on that new inspection event. But if we want this to be on the same page as what we're already on now, we're just going to type in that address and choose the date and time of when that original inspection was. That looks like it's my top option and once we click that it's going to take us to the new page to select the defects for our reinspection report. Um, just like before we're going to go ahead and select all the visible defects and then we're going to copy that report to the inspection and that will bring us back to the original inspection details page and now we actually have a new report in here for the residential report reinspection. Just another thing to keep in mind, if you are scheduling a reinspection with the second way that I showed you where you're clicking on the three dots and clicking uh, reinspection report, um, this isn't going to automatically put your services and fees and your agreements onto this uh, inspection details page that you've already done an inspection on. You're going to want to come down here to the bottom and hit the add service and add that reinspection on. And then also you're going to want to add on an agreement uh, if you specifically have a reinspection agreement you would like your client to sign. Um, that way, whenever you add on those additional fees and agreements, it's going to, if you have your actions and automations set up, send out an email or text message to your client letting them know, hey, you've got a new fee and a new agreement that you need to get taken care of. That way, uh, you're getting everything that you need for payment and agreement for that reinspection. Um, now we're going to go ahead and hop into how we can write a reinspection report. We're going to start by doing it on the web editor. All right, we're going to go ahead and click into the web editor for that reinspection report. And once it's loaded, you will notice on the web editor that only the defects that you're inspecting will show up. Uh, the comments included in those original findings will be there. And so if we go ahead and click into my smoke detector spot, you will see that the original photo I took of the deficiency is in here. And any new photos that I need to add to show that it is being resolved or it is still a defect, you would just drag in here to update those photos. Um, and let's say, for example, that the photo shows it being resolved. I could then just click the checkbox right here to show that as fixed and resolved. Um, another important thing to note is the header information is pulled from the previous inspection report, and maybe you would like to change that for some reason. So up here at the top is the actual title. If we click into that, there's the header text. You can go ahead and make that change in here so that you can make that header text be specific to that reinspection. Let's go ahead and hop over now into the app and we can show how you can edit the reinspection from uh, out there in the field with the app. All right, hopping over into the app, 
uh, you'll see that there's the residential report reinspection right there on the screen. If we go ahead and click into that report, we are going to go over to the electrical smoke detector spot that we were just talking about on the web editor. And uh, the defects comments will always default to being unresolved or thumbs down. Uh, you can either tap the thumb icon to toggle back and forth between resolved and unresolved. Um, and you're also able to include any photos right here. You can click on the photo uh, button and that would make it so that you can upload your new photo of either that resolving the issue or a photo of it still being an issue. It is important to note that the original pictures don't show up in the app during a reinspection. This is something that our uh, development team is working on implementing to our new next gen app. And uh, that should make things easier in the future for you when it comes to seeing the differences between your old photos and the new photos. The next thing I'd like to show you is how this reinspection uh, report will look like for your client from their perspective. So I went ahead and published this report and sent it as an email to myself so that I had the link to get to the client portal. And as you'll see, I'm able to click on the report and view it here. If I click into that report, it's going to load up and it's going to show uh, the resolved count and the unresolved count for things that we uh, checked during our reinspection. And so you'll see that anything that was marked as resolved will show up as green, um, and any photos from the original report uh, are on the left, and any new photos you added to show that being as resolved would then be on the right. You'll see there's a band-aid on there showing that it's all fixed right there. But everything should be the same way for your client. They also have the ability to download this as a PDF. So if you go to the drop down and you hit full report, you'll see that the report is in a nice downloadable PDF format for your client to see all of your defects as resolved or unresolved as well. Let me know if you have any questions on the reinspection tool. We're always happy to help you in the bubble. Otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your day.